Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. I was reading about air pressure. Do you guys want to know about air pressure? Well, here's Anea to talk to you about it. Hey guys, so to be able to know about the Earth's weather in a scientific way, we have to learn first about the air around us. We are actually surrounded by a blanket of air called the atmosphere. We live at the bottom of the atmosphere and the amount of air above presses down on us. Every day, this air presses down on us, but since we have grown used to it, we do not feel it anymore. But we can measure it with a device called a barometer. But air pressure doesn't remain the same all the time. If you are to watch the barometer over a period of days, you will find out that the amount of air pressure changes. Because air pressure is influenced by a number of factors. The first factor is temperature. Air, like anything else on Earth, is composed of molecules but are too small for us to be seen by the naked eye. So, if you put two blocks of air on a weighing scale, you would see that they would weigh the same. But if you heat the air, the air spreads and there will be less molecules in the same amount of space and thus air becomes lighter. The air rises because it is less dense than the air around it. That is why a hot air balloon rises. The air within the balloon is hotter than the air in the surroundings. Air pressure determines the weather. This is why most maps show high and low pressure areas. Look for the high and low pressure and the boundaries between them can be windy. It is caused by the movement of air from high pressure area to low pressure area. Let us simulate this by blowing a balloon. By blowing a balloon, you are actually increasing the air pressure within the balloon compared to the air around it. When you allow air to escape, it creates wind caused by the movement of air from high to low. The movements of air from high to low are associated with fronts. Fronts are boundaries between air masses of different temperatures. The red symbol is called the warm front because it is where warm air gets into and replaces cold air. The blue symbol is called the cold front where cold air gets into and replaces warm air. Another important property of air is the capacity to hold moisture. Just as a barometer measures air weight, a hygrometer measures its moisture content. Hydrogen is the lightest element, so if, the, if there is more hydrogen in the air, it becomes lighter. If it is lighter, it has less pressure to exert on us. So if the amount of water vapor increases, its density of air will become lower because of the hydrogen that is lighter and vice versa. The last factor that affects air pressure is altitude. When you are going up high in the mountains, you will notice that it is harder to breathe because there is less air. But as you go down, there is much air pressure and density. When we ride a plane, it can have a lot of discomfort, like ear pains, because when the plane is at the ground, you have the weight of all the air pressure at your eardrums. You are used to that because every day we have that amount of air pressing in our eardrums. Then, what happens is the plane takes off, there is less air pushing down, thus a lower air pressure. It lets your eardrums bulge outwards. That causes the ear pains. The real problem comes when the plane lands. Air pressure increases on the bulging ear inward to your brain that becomes painful. Thus, to recap, the factors affecting air pressure, which are temperature, humidity, altitude, has an indirect relationship to air pressure and its density. Air pressure affects the weather by influencing the movement of air around the planet. Areas of low pressure generally develop clouds and precipitation, while areas of high pressure tend to bring clear, sunny weather. Yona, what is the effect of extreme air pressure on weather? A storm forms in response to an extreme difference in air pressure driven by the movement of cold and warm air. Our atmosphere is covered with areas of relatively high and low pressure, all driven by collisions between cold polar and warm equatorial air. The greater the pressure difference, the stronger the wind. Angela, how does air pressure affect people? Good question. Changes in air pressure can cause physical discomfort, headaches, sinuses, joint pain, and uncomfortable ear popping as the body tries to equalize the pressure inside with the changing atmospheric pressure. But skin adjusts easily to changes in pressure, but the lungs and sinuses do not adjust as easily. So, so guys, that's the end of our presentation or lesson about air pressure. Hope you guys learned a lot and thank you for watching! Woo! Bye!